Okay, guys, so welcome to day two. Um, hopefully you guys finished up your vocabulary and section one from yesterday. If you didn't, please make sure that you've gotten in touch with me um, if you're having any trouble with it or anything is um, wrong there, okay? Um, so there's a couple of things that you're going to work on today. Um, section one, or um, chapter one, section two questions. Okay, so once again, we'll go back to that chapter. Okay, and you'll scroll down. I think it starts on like page 12. Um, okay, so this is our scientific method. This is our problem solving using hypothesis, using um, procedures. All science starts with an observation. So we notice something, we see something that's happened, and we're like, well, why did that do that? Or why is that happening? Or why, you know, why is there fog? Why is there dew on? Why do, you know... Um, why do all these things happen? And so then we take kind of what we know, what we already think happens, and we create um, a hypothesis. This is why I think this happened, okay? And then you're going to move into your procedures. So you're going to say, well, how could I test this? How could I um, figure out if I'm right? Okay, and a lot of times you're not right. A lot of times we do our um, our procedures and we do our experiments and we're not right. Our hypothesis is wrong. And you'll see here, this one's kind of important and you'll have a notes packet that you can kind of use that you're going to um, fill these out and go through this with. Okay. So these are um, a hypothesis, a theory, and a law. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay. Let's see if I can make that to move over a little bit. There we go. All right. So your hypothesis um, is a statement that is tested with experiments. So these are supported with multiple experiments multiple times. So we do the same experiment over and over and over again. And if it works, then it turns into a theory. Okay. So if we have this hypothesis, like I think this happened because, and we do the experiments and we find out, yes, we're right. This is why this happened. Then it turns into a theory. Okay. So this is that explanation that is supported by many experiments um, done the same way that this is, this is why it happens. Okay. A law is a little bit different. So scientific law describes the behavior of something in nature. All right. So generally laws predict or describe what will happen in a given situation, but they don't always explain why it happens. OK, so we have like the law of conservation of matter. So that tells us that matter is never destroyed or created, that what is here will always be here. It just changes form. OK, um, kind of like energy, kind of like I said in our first video, um, energy does not um, go away. It just changes forms. So the light energy that we get from the sun gets transferred into, um, gets collected by a plant, gets transferred into sugar energy, and then it grows. And then that plant um, dies, decomposes, um, depending on what happens. It either gets released as methane um, or heat, heat while it's decomposing. Sorry, we're talking about energy. <laughs> but it, but that's our that's our laws. We're not really telling why it happens. We're not telling exactly, you know, that's me telling what happened. That would be the theory. Um, but a law just kind of says that this is what's going to happen, like Newton's laws of motion. Okay, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Doesn't tell us how, doesn't tell us why. It's just the law. Okay, so that's in, that's in one of your um, worksheets that you're going to do here in a second. Okay. Um, so go all the way through this and you will come to the last section and there, just like we did yesterday, are your self-check questions. You're going to want to make sure that you go all the way down to the applying skills um, to practice that and work through that. So remember what I said, you can use a piece of paper, you can create a Google Doc, or you can create um, an assignment within the slide. Okay. Um, so work through those, work through um, that section. Looking at the scientific method, like I said, hopefully this is something that you've seen since you started doing science in school. It's something that we use every single day in our lives, much less um, 
create, you know, you may not always create an, an experiment. You may not always, um, you know, do that, but you, you use the scientific method. Um, so keep that in mind as you work through that. All right, let's go out here. Okay, so here is that assignment where you can either one, mark it as done if you did it on paper. Two, you can create those Google Docs from that or upload a Google Doc if you've already created one outside of the assignment. But I would recommend going to the assignment and creating it within the assignment because then it puts your assignment name, your name, everything else. And I'm, there will be videos up on our page showing you how to do all that. I can't really do it from here because I created it, okay? Um, but there will be a whole separate video that you can watch for that, okay? All right, so within that, give me just one second here, guys, um, because in the assignment, air slam, notes. All right, guys, so your um, scientific notes organizer. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. Um, I only have this in a PDF format. So as far as completing this online, um, it's going to be a little difficult. Um, there is an app called or an extension called Cami. So if you are working on your Chromebook, um, you can actually um, log in with Cami. This is... Um, Okay, so this is Cami, and if you haven't used this, this is kind of just a little bit, um, okay. Um, all right, so over here, you can see that you can add in a text box, okay? So I could come in here under hypothesis and start typing, okay? So I could add in uh, information under hypothesis. You don't have to do that. You don't have to go that far. Um, but it is, and then it lets you save it down as a PDF and then you can drop it back in there. That's just an option, okay? I'm not expecting you to learn that. Um, if you are technologically inclined and you wanna to try to do that and add on that extension, I'm not exactly positive of the rules about you guys adding your own extensions on, but that, that is an option if you have that, okay? Um, if not, okay, and you'll see it opens it there. All right, so I don't. Want to say that, All right? But the other option is that you can just do it in the in in the binder. Okay, so just write your notes in in the binder, mark that assignment as done. Um, but basically, you're just going to go through the um, you're going to go through the chapter, and you're going to pull out your steps of the scientific method. Okay your hypothesis and theory and law that we just went through. Um, you got a little bit down here of um, Mark working through his um, assignment and you're going, or his experiment, and you're going to identify the independent, dependent, and controls. Um, three ways that you can analyze experiment data. And then defining those independent, dependent, and controls, okay? So that's day two. If you need any help with that, um, those are all the those are the only two assignments for day two. So work through section two, work through your graphic organizer, putting those notes together from section two. And if you need any help, please contact me with any of those ways on the um, app, or on the um, Google Classroom or on your sheets. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. If you need any help, please don't hesitate to ask me.